The following video is rated PG-13, which may contain scenes and themes unsuitable for viewers under 13. In the criminal justice system of Minecraft, Shia, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. The police, who investigate crime, and the district attorneys, who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. Uh, nice day to go fishing, huh? Yeah! Nothing can stop us from eating loads of fish. Let me tell you what, my sister ate a salmon the day before, then she switched to meat, and now back to fish the day after. Do you eat meat? Not exactly. I'm a vegetarian. Oh. Right. Wait, I think I got something. Whoa ho ho ho. Look at that. A treasure chest. Bingo, but do you think there's gold in there? I'm not sure, but let's open it and find- what the? Why is there blood? I don't know. I think it's coming out of the chest. Wait, do you think that? No. It wouldn't. Oh my god. Can you tell us what happened? My good pal and I were fishing near the ocean this morning and we got something. A chest. There was blood coming out of it. So we opened it and realized that there was a body. What sort of body? I don't know, but it looks completely terrifying. So what kind of body is it in that chest? I'm not sure. Let's open it. That's it. There's nothing else in there. Just blood all over the chest and a decapitated head of someone. Jeez. This is almost like that Rex Chachari thing, but worse. Do you think we should take this to the forensics? Yeah. Alright, so when was the last time you met this woman? What's her name? Bianca. Right. So when did you last see her? About three years ago. We were just talking, that's all. Steven, I just received a text message that has come to light. Bianca told you that she knew about your dodgy work, and you threatened her that if she goes to the police, you'll kill her. That's not true. I never said that. Listen, I already apologized to Bianca for threatening her like that. But you still killed her anyway. No I didn't. Alright. Then where were you on the night Bianca was murdered? Of course. You've been living in Austria to work at a ski club. You didn't even know that Bianca is dead. Are you trying to tell me that I'm the one who killed Bianca? We need more evidence to reveal that. But in the meantime, you are good to go. For now at least. Well, any luck? Mr. Davis said that he is not responsible for Bianca's death, but admits that he is deluded. Okay, so who exactly is the real killer? I am not sure, but I did find this axe that was left on the ground, not too far from the spot where the body was discovered. So that's it? Is this the murder weapon? Looks like it. It appears that Bianca was stabbed several times before her head is chopped off. Jesus Christ. What kind of psychopath would do that to a young girl? I'll check up on the fishers again to see if they know anything about it. You again. It's half past midnight. Sorry I had to wake you up, but I just found some evidence about what happened with Bianca. Can I come in? Yeah, of course. So what did you find? This. This is the weapon I found outside your home. What? That was never there before. The suspect apparently used that weapon to chop Bianca's head off. That's horrible. Have you caught the killer yet? I'm afraid not. 
but, we are working with everything we can to get the suspect into custody and bring him to justice. Where exactly did you find the weapon? Right there. In a small island shaped like the letter L. L? What does it mean? I'm not sure. Oh, wait. The suspect's name. I think we got the man. Any luck? I checked up on the Fisher's house to try to look for more evidence. Luckily, I spotted an island with a letter L. And how did you manage it exactly? This L-shaped island gave me a clue about the murder. Apparently the suspect's name starts with the letter L. What's his name? I don't know. Louis. Louis. Landon. Liam. Whoever his name is, we need to catch him before he- No wait, I think I know where your man is. Really? Where? Over there. Hey ha. That's him. Police, stop. Gad, why did you do that for? Landon Brunswick, I'm placing you under arrest for the murder of Bianca Adams. Now, I want you to tell me what you did. Tell me why you had to kill Bianca. Listen, I am a butcher. I don't slaughter women like- Tell me, why did you kill her? Alright, fine. I'll tell you. She knew too much. She realized that I was hiding a slaughterhouse inside the kitchen. She threatened to call the police and think that I'm a murderer and I kill women, and she considers me as a misogynist. And what about that text that Bianca got? That was the last one she got before she died. That was just doctored. I pretended that someone else sent it as a cover-up, and I framed him. Where is Mr. Davis? You're joking! So you must think I'm responsible for her death, right? The evidence made it very clear. You both worked at the same slaughterhouse on the night of the murder, and you helped him. So, are you really involved with Landon to kill Bianca? Yes. Yes I am. I just had to shut her up, that's all. We had to kill Bianca because of those conspiracies she made against us. That's it. Right. Well, the next thing you will both do is to spend some time in the cells, then the court will tell you how long you will be in prison. This is all your fault. You set me up. Oh come on, what's the big deal? I thought you helped me. Aren't you glad? <laughs>